there are some basic uh, management techniques that are very empowering uh, when it comes to growing crops. Um, we have discussed uh, addressing mineral deficiencies in the soil in the fall. We've discussed uh, inoculating the seed at germination. Um, we haven't talked about uh, fertilizers in, at planting, which we'll talk about shortly, but uh, establishing the infrastructure to be able to feed a plant um, through a watering system and or and or through a foliar spray or spraying things on the leaf surface uh, can be very empowering um, and is, a, is, is an easy way to get rapid results. Um, I like to think of it as giving your kids their vitamins. Uh, anybody has ever as a child given vitamins or has given their child vitamins um, is, understands the concept that um, prophylactic um, supplementation can prevent uh, disease or illness um, and that is a generally considered to be a good thing. Um, we can uh, easily understand that giving our plant children their vitamins can prevent illness as well perhaps. Um, the question is how do you go about doing that? So uh, this is an important piece of my operation and one that I feel um, makes it quite easy for me to have a, a, a lucrative uh, farm um, operation and that is I like to I use drip tape personally I have a, an irrigation system where I pull water out of a stream and put it through drip tape and I can add uh, as part of that process micronized liquid minerals into the line so effectively they're being drip fed to the plants um, I can also uh, with a backpack sprayer apply foliar nutrition to the leaf surface um, not just minerals, of course. There's all sorts of other compounds. People use fish. People use kelp. There's a uh, compost teas, other sorts of inoculants. Um, any number of things can be used to feed the plant. Um, but having the infrastructure and the capacity um, established before the growing season uh, greatly increases the odds that you'll be able to do so. Um, if you understand the importance of this technology or capacity, then you need to establish the infrastructure. That means getting an irrigation system that you can turn on and apply minerals to to feed your plants on a regular basis and or getting a backpack sprayer or other kind of foliar apparatus that can be used to feed your plants on a regular basis. So these are uh, things that I would suggest be done on a weekly or bi-weekly basis um, and I have found as a farmer to be very empowering um, in my growth process. What we've got here is a drip tape system. Um, this is what I use for irrigation. Um, for maintaining hydration in the soil at all points in time. Uh, I have a gravity fed system um, with operating off of a tank, which you can go look at. Um, mm -hmm. It's about a 275 gallon tank, and so all the water flowing through here is uh, operating on a gravity fed system. Um, this is the header pipe, which is the sort of <clears throat> main line that the water comes through, and then here we have what's called drip tape. Um, this is a sort of a thin plastic. Uh, tube that comes in a roll. I can show you the roll uh, with, a, with a hole every 12 inches in it, a little hole uh, where the water drips out of. So you fill the system up with water, fill the tank, open this, open the spigot, and water fills uh, these header pipes and these tubes and slowly drips into the beds. Um, this is uh, used uh, in areas of uh, water scarcity to um, most efficiently water plants. It's a much more efficient use of water than overhead systems uh, or um, sort of flooding systems. Uh, it's also a very good system for um, applying nutrition into, into the, to the plants. Um, wherever your source of water is, you can, you can put your minerals in there and they'll come right through the, right through the line, out, out of the holes, into the soil to feed the plants. So, a uh, fairly simple system. We've got the header pipe little spigot where it connects into the line and then this line and I generally run two lines per four foot bed um, a lot of farmers will just do one but um, I don't mind airing on the side of a little bit of generosity um, the tape itself is generally uh, quite inexpensive as a material and if you buy the heavy-duty uh, tape it can be used year after year I guess what a lot of farmers will do is they're watering more of the plants, whereas you're trying to water the whole soil here so that you're feeding the microorganisms and all that as well, right? Um, <clears throat> yeah, well, my, my understanding is that um, as above, so below. So wherever you have plant 
or as big as you have a plant, you should have a root system also. So right. my idea is that the um, entire soil area should be maintained, hydration should be maintained in the entire soil area um, for the maximum biological activity to occur for the um, best root system to be built. Okay. And I'll include a list, but what are the main fertilizers you're putting through the system? Or inoculants or? Um, I use a, a, a fairly broad spectrum of micronized mineral uh, fertilizers. Um, I, use, uh, I use kelp as well. Um, I use a, a concentrated seawater with the sodium and the chlorine taken out. But um, <clears throat> micronized, uh, sort of bioavailable, uh, very fine, very fine um, uh, suspended suspensions of uh, limestone, um, other form, forms of uh, calcitic deposits, uh, gypsum, uh, rock phosphate, potassium sulfate, uh, just sort of a, a general a general mix of, of rock minerals but finely ground and in suspension. So they're highly bioavailable. Along with trace elements of course, the copper sulfate, zinc sulfate, manganese, cobalt, molybdenum, selenium, um, <clears throat> a little bit of molasses sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, some enzymes, a, f a fairly, a fairly uh, nuanced and, and broad Mm -hmm. uh, list of materials are all used to this system. And does some of that depend on your soil testing? Um, <clears throat> or is this I, just tiny amounts of everything? To these are very tiny amounts. I'm talking about uh, one or two quarts of a concentrate per acre would be the application rate. Right. And that is determined basically on what I noticed about how the plant is growing and what the um, symptomology is based on does it need a 